Hey guys, welcome back to Beauty in the Grinds. Tonight I'm going to be discussing all about the importance of eye cream. So are you on one side of the fence that you don't think eye cream is important? Are you on the other side, other side of the fence that you're like, oh no, eye cream is super important and I need a video that declares why, because <laughs> this will be it. Um, or are you just simply wondering what eye cream is all about, why you should be using eye cream, when to start using eye cream, and what eye cream can do for you and how it can even help your makeup wear better? If so, y'all, keep watching. Like I just said, the title of this video is all about the importance of eye cream. To see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notifier so you always know when I post something new. So I would like to know and hear from you on who's using eye cream and who's not using eye cream. So if you are using eye cream, put a yes in the comments thread down below. And if you are not using eye cream, put a no. I just want to know. I kind of want to get a collective audience's opinion and thought, and I want to see where you all are. But the reason I decided to put this video together in particular is that there has been a big movement where eye cream isn't important. And I'm on the other side of the fence. I believe eye cream is super important. I am a walking testimony of why I think eye cream is super important. And it's why I want to preach it to you guys to use and to do twice a day. Now I am a licensed esthetician. I want to put that out here before I carry on in this video because I'm coming from a school point of view and not just an opinion point of view. And I do say that in all my videos that talk about skincare, just because I don't want to be flippantly on here talking and yammering about skincare and really it's a hill of beans of difference. So I do have a certification as a licensed esthetician and I have been using eye cream since I turned 21, not this particular one of course, but since I turned 21. And that's when I recommend starting to use your eye cream. If you don't use eye cream and you're over the age of 21, start now. <laughs> if you are younger than 21 watching this video, just aim to start when you're about 21 years old. And this is why the magical number of 21, which means so many wonderful things, like we can finally rent a car and drink alcohol and do adult things, um, also is when the age progression completely starts to decline in your genetic life. It's just how it is. So when you start using eye cream at an early age, even if there are naysayers saying, why are you doing that? Because I got a lot of that. I got a lot of people asking me why I was using anti-aging skincare at such a young age. And I knew at that time of my life that I wanted to do preventative maintenance for as long as possible. Because if you don't and you get up to your 30s, which is where I'm at now, or even your 40s, you only have a few options left on on the table outside of skincare. There's injections and fillers and now facelifts and all kinds of stuff. So the longer you do preventative maintenance means the longer that you don't have to do those things if those things would ever be on the table for you at all. Eye cream is formulated specifically for the under eye area. It is formulated differently than creams. And you could line up an eye cream with a moisturizer and you could say, well, the ingredients are the same. That's right. But you don't know if it's molecularly structured the same. See, the skin under our eye is super thin. And because of it, it shows a loss of elasticity, collagen. We get dark circles super easy. There can be retaining of water, which is known as swelling, or fine lines and wrinkles. All of that happens the fastest under our eye area and around our eye area. Now let's not even talk about the droopiness of our eyelids, y'all. Um, but all of that happens because the skin is super thin there. So because it is so thin in those areas, it shows age the most and the fastest. So eye creams are supposed to be and are, if it's a good formulation, formulated to treat thinning skin. So although a moisturizer that you put on your face, yes, indeed, you could use it underneath your eye. It might not be getting the best treatment from that moisturizer for your eyes needs. So your eye needs things differently than your cheeks, as well as your neck kind of needs something other than your cheeks. It's, it's like each part of our skin is different. It's why the skin on the back, like on the small of your back is so thick. There are purposes that our skin does as the largest organ in our body, but it does things in different areas for different purposes. 
the eye cream is supposed to moisturize. Some formulations help with fine lines and wrinkles. Some help with swelling and dark circles. Some claim that it helps with all of them. And when you're using the eye cream, you want it to make sure you want to make sure that it meets the needs of your eye where your eye is in your age of life. So if you're worried about dark circles, but not so much about fine lines and wrinkles, just make sure that the eye cream you're choosing to invest your hard earned money into works for dark circles. The same with fine lines and wrinkles. Now, if you're a gal like me or a guy like me, well, I'm not a guy, but you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> you want one that's going to work with your under eye circles and with your fine lines and wrinkles. I have always been pursuing eye cream like forever. Like I always wanted the Holy Grail eye cream. And in tonight's video, I am sharing the eye cream that I personally use. And that is the Tulsara Wedding Mask Eye Cream. I did speak about this briefly in last week's video. So if you missed it, I'm going to put it right up here that you guys can check it out when you're done watching this one if you want to. And this particular eye cream holds moisture for 24 hours. Now I do use it twice a day. I recommend doing, you know, putting on eye cream twice a day. I'm going to demo how you should be putting on eye cream before this video ends. And the reason for that is your skin goes in a cycle. So the first application of eye cream, let's say it's in the morning, will last you until about the evening. But when your skin goes to rest, when you go to rest, because that's when it does its most repair work, you want it to have a fresh layer of moisture specifically meant for it in that area, which is why I recommend doing it twice a day. And like I said, different formulations are geared towards different problem areas of the eye. This one treats all of them. It was it was made to help with dark circles and, and darkness under the eye, but they found that with the fruit stem cells and the antioxidant complex that is in it, it also is treating the fine lines and wrinkles. However, this is the first product that I have been able to use on my lid and under my brow bone, and it doesn't cause any eye irritation. Now, I can't claim that it won't cause irritation for your eye, but why I am saying that is part of the aging process for me as I've gotten older is that the lid of my eye has dropped, and I hate it, all right? And I was also starting to get, like, dryness on the lid, and none of the eye creams I was using at the time were cutting it until I used this one. So they don't seem or look as droopy as they did beforehand. I have used multiple different eye creams throughout my, you know, my life. And the reason that I love this one and that I preach eye cream is that when you use eye cream, whether it's this one or whatever, you know, whatever brand you like, um, and I will make recommendations before this video ends, but it helps keep moisture in this area. Okay, so if you are using concealer and you find midday, I'm not talking about it gathering in fine lines or anything, but I'm talking about it doesn't wear evenly, or maybe it seems really patchy right here next to your nose, but it seems really creamy here. It could be that it's the simple fact that your skin is not hydrated. When your skin is not hydrated, whether it's under your eye or on your face, your makeup is not going to wear as well and it's not going to look as good. So one of the reasons I suggest wearing eye cream is it will help your concealer and anything that you're putting under your eye wear more evenly and look prettier. The other thing too is if you do have fine lines and wrinkles, not using an eye cream when you wear makeup it will settle into those areas and it will settle into those areas and make it look worse because the skin is dry. So now you're working with dry texture and the makeup is slipping into it and it just looks even, it just looks bad. Whereas with an eye cream, you're kind of smoothing out that area of the skin and you don't want to use a whole lot. Okay. You just want to use enough eye cream that it helps to moisturize, hydrate and smooth that area of the skin. So as you're wearing makeup, everything is, you know, working seamlessly. There's no texture issues and it's not falling into those fine lines and wrinkles more than what it should be. So the way that you apply eye cream is with your ring finger. It's the weakest finger on our hand and it does the less damage. It brings less stress to that area. Now I always use a Q-tip because this is in a jar and it's not in a tube. And I just literally take a Q-tip, stick it in here because I don't like cross contamination. So I will not stick my finger in the jar, mainly because my nails are longer and I don't even know what exists under them and I ain't putting that in my skincare. So once I have the eye cream on my Q-tip, I then put it on my ring fingers like so. I mash both my ring fingers together and get a nice even application. And then I start from the outside and I press and work it in from the outside all the way over to my nose. 
Then I'll take residual and I'll put it on my lid up to under my brow bone. And you wanna go in a tapping motion. So don't sit there and rub like this, especially hard, cause that's not good for your under eye area. Tap it and help it to absorb in just by tapping. Now if you wanna do some light, kind of like lymphatic movement, you can, but make sure it's extremely light. And then that's it. And that's how you can apply any eye cream period. Even the ones that come in a tube, you just squeeze it down onto your finger, you do the same, mash it together with your ring fingers, and then tap it and apply it in. I wouldn't. I wanna hear from you, and if you're loving this video so far and you're finding it really helpful, pop in some requests down below. I love requested videos, I honor requested videos, and I like hearing from you and what my community wants to see and what they need to see. So I always add it to my film list and if it's something that I can deliver, I do. So if you're watching this and you're getting inspired and you're like, ooh, I'd like to learn a little bit more about this, let me know. I'd love to hear from y'all. So here are some eye cream recommendations. If you are in your 20s and you're not ready to pay the price of an eye cream that is anti-aging, you can just use a basic eye moisturizer. If you want a very affordable brand, you can look at Oil of Olay or Olay. Look how, oh my God, I'm showing my age. But Olay, you can also look at, I believe Neutrogena has one that has retinol in it. Just be very mindful because the retinol could irritate the, the eye area. If you want something that's prestige but not very expensive, Clinique has an eye cream called All About Eyes. I found that very moisturizing and I enjoyed it for a long time. MAC has an eye cream as well that helps to tighten. So if you are more mature in years and you have, you know, fine lines and wrinkles happening and you're already using an eye cream, you could jump over to the MAC counter, talk to them about their eye cream. I think it's called the 24 hour eye cream. Basically what it does, I wish I had the exact name for y'all, but it helps to kind of firm up the area and just make it really seamless and smooth for makeup application. There's also a lot of plant-based eye creams out there. I don't recommend any plant-based like drugstore brands though, because I find that there's a high level of alcohol in some of their formulations and it evaporates very quickly and you lose the hydration. And then of course, I am going to recommend the Tossera Aveda Wedding Mask Eye Cream. It comes in the jar, looks like this guy. It helps with a whole lot of anti-aging issues, but it also hydrates like a boss. And the exciting thing about this particular eye cream is that next week I am launching an Aveda giveaway and this is the product that I will be giving away in that video. So if you are loving this video, subscribe, hit the bell notifier so you know when that video goes live. I post new videos every Monday, so you might just wanna keep a lookout. There will be more details to come in that particular video regarding the giveaway and some extra little goodies that I will also be adding to it. So I hope that you really enjoyed this quick little, you know, the importance of eye cream information that I gave you all. I want to hear from you. Let me know if you like this video, if you want to see more of them. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. The time that you choose to support me and my channel is precious and I really appreciate it. Don't forget to give this video a like and share, especially if you found it helpful and fun. All my social media handles will be in the description box. I would love to connect with you on one of my Instagrams or even my Facebook. I do a lot of lives on my Instagram if you're interested in that. And don't forget, I post new videos every Monday. So I hope that I will see you guys next week for the giveaway. And you all have a fantastic rest of your morning, evening, afternoon. Ooh, I said that backwards. Morning, afternoon, or evening. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys. Bye.